story and staying with farming now, a cutting edge look at the future of agriculture with the help of artificial intelligence. What do you think of this? A weed terminator made by Carbon Robotics. It is armed with lasers that can shoot and kill weeds from above, apparently with millimeter accuracy. You're looking at it right now. Now, this is not science fiction. The laser weeder is already being shipped to farmers right now. The company says it made more than $20 million in bookings for this. It has already sold out of its 2021 and 2022 models of the robot. And then check this out. It looks sort of like one of those at-home Roomba vacuums, but think of this little guy as a grain Roomba. It is capable of sifting through grain and beans and rice and even corn and aerating it and doing important tasks. Just one of many new technologies transforming the world of agriculture as we speak. For more on the future of farming, I want to bring in my guest, John Boyd Jr., president of the Black Farmers Association. John, it is always such a pleasure to see you. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you, Natasha, for having me. Okay, we have to start with the laser weed killer. When you first heard about this, was there any concern in your mind about a robot that can autonomously shoot and kill using lasers from above? Well, I kind of, I kind of like the concept, to be honest with you, uh, because farmers need to get away from uh, harmful chemicals such as glyphosate and, and 2,4-D uh, that could be uh, harmful. So farmers are forced to use these uh, type of uh, uh, you know chemicals and if there's an alternative way through technology to get away from those harmful chemicals that cause cancer and all of these things, I think it's a good concept and, and farmers should give it a try. And the I, thing uh, for smaller farmers is, will it be affordable for us? And, and will it be, mm -hmm. you already heard the company say that they have a, a backlog of orders and, and probably it's because a lot of farmers feel the same way I do about it. If we can get away from, uh, you know, using harmful chemicals, and use the tools such as this to do it to produce healthier foods and safer foods for consumers. We want to do that. You bring up such a good point. I mean, the company also says it is wonderful for reducing herbicides and toxic chemicals. It, it does say it replaces 70 jobs in a tedious backbreaking task. Is that a good thing? Well, you know, it's a it's a catch 22 for people who depend on uh, farm income uh, for, for living and, and farm workers and things of this, of this nature. We don't put anybody out of work. But uh, as I get older, I'm finding it more and more difficult to find farm hands that want to do the work and that are able to actually do this this type of labor intensive work. Uh, sometimes uh, on my own farm, when it uh, when I have weeds like that after a big rain, we'll have to go out there and pull them, pull them up. So it takes uh, labor to do this. Uh, so I, I'm not in favor of putting people out of work, but I am in favor of of uh, actually producing healthy food for you know for American consumers, so I think this is a this is a good tool if it's used correctly, and it's just like anything else that comes out. You know, we have to we have to use this technology in a good way to help American consumers. Yeah, and you know, I I know that you're a multi generation farmer, and um, there are there are so many days. I know you love standing. Uh, on your land and the love of land and days you love being a farmer. And then there are days that you've spent hours pulling up tiny minuscule weeds from a field. So I, I definitely hear that perspective. I want to ask about the grain Roomba. Um, it apparently has fans on social media now because for some reason, and I don't know why, it is very cute. Um, apparently, it, though, it can also save lives in these huge silos full of grain and, and other small things. Can you help explain why uh, it would actually be life-saving for some farmers? I can. I can. Uh, farmers need grain tanks uh, during harvest time to store grain, and sometimes we wait for the price of uh, grain to go up. Uh, a tool like this will prevent a farmer from going down inside of the actual silo itself to check on a crop. Uh, and also, it could um, help with waste. Uh, a lot of times, like you see in that picture there, uh, the actual grain gets stuck to the side of the silo, and that uh, produces uh, waste for farmers. And also at the bottom of the silo, uh, it, it sticks, so we lose uh, a lot of bushels that way. So it helps in two ways. One, it helps to help us with our crops, to uh, keep the crops dry from moisture and things of that nature. And it also helps from uh, uh, accidents when farmers go down in silos and sometimes we don't we don't come out alive. I know you don't hear it a lot, but uh, a lot of farmers have, have uh, died in, in those silos when you get uh, uh, sucked into the corn or wheat or soybeans. Uh, and a lot of these silos hold, uh, could hold from a couple thousand bushels to 25,000 bushels. It's, some of these containers are huge. So yeah. 
We need, we need technology like this. I mean, that's great. I mean, bottom line, just just in about 10 or 10 or 20 seconds, are you in favor of technology like this coming in and making Americans' farmers' lives easier? Yes, I am. I'm in favor of technology by using it the right way. I'm yeah. not, not in favor of uh, foreign countries and things of that nature using technology to to uh, tap into our infrastructure. Mm -hmm. But we want to make sure that this technology is safe and that it's the good and best way for farmers to, to move forward. And these two and these two that you described here today, I'm certainly in favor of both of those mechanisms. I appreciate that. And affordable for farmers too is an yeah, important we need, point. We need it affordable yeah. and accessible. Yeah, yeah. Farmers have to be able to assess these new tools. And also they uh, the companies need to provide training. Mm -hmm. uh, so if the companies out there, reach out to us. We have farmers that, that can use these tools. Absolutely. Okay, founder and president of the National Black Farmers Association, John Boyd Jr. Always a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you, Natasha, for having me. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.